Hello everyone, this is Elpanta with a quick tutorial on fun with tessellation. Hopefully this will help you understand how some of the basic functions of <coughs> tessellation are like. Uh, you can start with a ball, a simple shape, and use the, um, the, the, the new feature in iClone that allows you to import maps directly to the channels. Go to your media folder and play with some of the bump maps. Uh, I find that uh, these are probably the more fun ones. Uh, you can import the same map to your opacity and also to your displacement channels. Use it as a height map and also send it to the bump channel. This gives you something that looks like a cage and the effect can be of course exaggerated to give sort of a pulsating type of effect and um, you can also maybe affecting all the channels you can make it something that looks more like a cage you could add a glow map a reflection blends materials whatever um, if you find this sort of thing coming out um, this sort of melted effect you can eliminate that by going to the tessellation menu and increasing the tessellation level this is basically the, the definition of the effect of course uh, there is a limit and if you exaggerate too much uh, it will get grainy anyway um, the multiplier is what basically it's similar to the strength but makes the entire effect much more extreme so you could have something like this as you do that it does get grainier and of course this is uh, like an object that can be animated in several different ways um, you could also maybe take your displacement map and um, uh, taking out the effectual channel function and make it smaller than your opacity map. This gives you this sort of shape which looks very intricate and it can be animated in this sort of manner which could be interesting for some sort of an organ or I don't know like a heart or an alien heart or something something maybe sci-fi. Um, if you try to use this the, the sort of trick with uh, other shapes for example a box don't use these the, um, the basic shapes. Uh, these don't have um, many polygons and therefore don't have much uh, definition. Uh, you want to use these, the tessellation props, the templates, and here you have a box that has 1700 uh, polygons which has a much higher definition and will allow you to use this effect properly. Um, let's see, we could play with uh, this one, looks interesting. We could throw it into the displacement channel, use it as a height map, and we get this sort of effect, which we can exaggerate. As you can see, as I exaggerate, it gets a little bit dirty. Go down to your tessellation menu, increase tessellation level, and that looks nice and clean. You could exaggerate this. and get some very interesting shapes. As you go, you can see it getting a little bit dirtier. You can use high definition maps and that will be solved. You can use blur to clean that up a little bit, but it's um, something that I find has a lot of potential. I've only played with this maybe one evening, uh, but I see a lot, of, a lot of potential in this. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Hopefully some of you will come up with some interesting ways of using it in a creative way. And um, uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial. If uh, you found it really useful, please sign up to my uh, channel and uh, like it on YouTube. 
these are all things that really motivate me to make more and um, to share more with you guys. So uh, enjoy your iClone and I will see you guys very soon.